Um, so with Russell Greer, uh, Russell Greer two weeks ago was ordered to file a scheduling conference. I'll have to say this as like straight and boring as I can in a lawsuit. A scheduling conference is basically one of the first things that happens. Once you pass the sniff test, once you get all the boring shit out of the way, your first initial volley of motions, once you start looking at an actual trial, an actual determination um, in a case, you got to schedule shit. You have to figure out, you have to, the two attorneys got to get together, and they got to figure out, well, I'm busy that day, I'm busy that week, I'm busy that week. We're going to need to interview this many people, we're going to have to request this many documents, uh, we're going to do it this way, we're going to do it over this number of months, and we'll be finished with discovery two years from now. Something like that. It's a lot of planning. It's a big pain in the ass. You have to take it seriously. You have to sit down and dedicate the hours to figuring out how long it's going to take, what exactly you're asking for, so on and so forth. But it's one of the first things that happens in a case before you enter discovery. Um, now, we are four years into this case, and we have not had a scheduling conference, uh, which, as I mentioned, is one of the first things that happens. So it's kind of inexcusable to be four years into a case and not have really completed the first actual step towards resolving the case outside of your Hail Mary motions that you file at the beginning. So the judge, the magistrate, he says, there should be a scheduling conference. Gather together the two attorneys, in this case Russell Greer and Hardin, and propose a schedule. And um, since it's Greer's job, because he's the one who's going to be requesting evidence in the case, it's his job to submit a draft that Hardin can go through See if it works for him, works for us, and submit back to Greer, and so on and so forth. And the court said, get this done in a month, right? Well, uh, Greer didn't do that. And in fact, when Hardin asked him to do that, Greer berated him, told him to stop emailing him, and uh, says he literally doesn't fucking know how to do a scheduling conference. His words, I don't fucking know how to do this. And so... He just decided not to do it. So the judge, on the, the, last, the last day after Greer told us to stop contacting him, which he can't really do because he's suing me. You can't sue me and also request that my counsel not contact you in regards to the lawsuit. Um, Hardin filed all the stuff that he had, our, our, the correspondence basically, and Hardin like, shrugs his shoulders and says, we don't know how to end this case because he's not going to file anything. I can't prosecute it for him because it doesn't make sense. And we can't respond to a scheduling pr proposal that doesn't exist. Um, so the judge then looked at this and uh, said, and I'll just read this. The order is, Mr. Greer has the burden to prosecute this case. Based on the procedural history of this case, the court concludes Mr. Greer has failed to file his basic duty of proposing a schedule. Therefore, the court hereby orders Mr. Greer to show cause why this case should not be dismissed for lack of prosecution. Mr. Greer must file a response to this order to a show cause before October 21st, which is two weeks after this was entered, uh, to inform the court of the status of this case and his intentions to proceed. Failure to do so will result in the dismissal of this case. It is so ordered. So this was the first time that this magistrate has put the cards on the table that, yes, dismissal with prejudice is going to happen unless you fucking proceed with the lawsuit. Um, so... Uh, Greer really only has one choice, and that's to propose a scheduling conference. I've looked at the scheduling conference template, because Hardin basically sent him the template from the court's website and says, fill this in, and he still didn't do it. And the reason why he didn't do it is because it's actually really complicated. And it's complicated because in order to fill it in, you have to understand how discovery works, and you have to understand how requests are done and how... Uh, depositions are done and if you don't understand your case and you don't understand how discovery works and you don't understand what documents you're going to be subpoenaing and you don't understand how to do depositions then you can't fill it in 
you have to know you have to know all the answers to those questions in order to sit down and fill in the blanks. So what happens, I'm sure of this, is that uh, Greer looks at this filing and his, just imagine like a dial-up modem sound effect in a blue screen pops up in his brain. And he's like, I have no idea how to proceed. And part of the issue with him filling this in is that he actually filed with the court a statement that he has no documents and no witnesses, which means that he has no evidence for his case. Now, he has to prove beyond a preponderance of the evidence that I deliberately caused copyright infringement of his works in order to win anything. But there's no evidence. He says there's no evidence. So he looks at, he looks at the template that says, okay, how many days is it going to take to do subpoenas and to do uh, d depositions? And then he looks at his filing that he said there's no documents and there's no witnesses. And it, it's like dividing by zero. His, he just like has no fucking clue how to put those two together because he fucked it up and he doesn't know what to do. Um, so now I'm, I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of like, I just want to tell you guys what's happening. There's no logical way for this case to proceed. And the fact that it hasn't been dismissed yet is actual insanity. And I don't even know if it's the magistrate's fault. It's the appeals court's fault because the original decision to, to revive this case is insane. He says that there's no evidence. So how do we do discovery? When we go to trial, this is what's going to happen. If this was a real case with two lawyers and the judge was playing by the rules, there would be a trial set after no discovery. Both parties would walk in. And when you walk into the trial, you're supposed to raise your evidence. So he would walk in and say, I have no evidence. The, prosec the plaintiff rests. And then the defense would say, uh, we have no rebuttal. The defense rests. And then the judge would say, uh, on the preponderance of the evidence, of which there is none, I cannot say with 51% assurity that copyright infringement has happened. Therefore, the case is dismissed. That is literally what would happen if the case was playing by the rules of the court. But the case is not so. Everything that's happening is not so. Nobody who has looked at this case has any idea about how to proceed with this because what's happening doesn't make sense. You have a case that has survived on its merits somehow but has no evidence and still has to proceed because the judge is afraid to dismiss it, probably, because the appeals court seems to be fucking Looney Tunes. Like, that's where it's at. It's, um, it's, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um... So if things are merciful, um, Greer will file. He's 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 taking this seriously because the judge says I'm going to dismiss the fucking case unless you respond with how you intend to prosecute this. And there's a chance that even if he responds and says no, I'm totally taking this serious. In fact, here is my 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 schedule. The judge might still say, well, you didn't explain why you failed to to file this timely before. So I'm going to dismiss it anyways. So who? it's really like, I have no idea what's happening. Nobody has any idea what's happening. It's up to Greer to prosecute the fucking case. And um, that's not happening. So, but we can't dismiss it because the appeals court seems to be insane. So what, what do we do? We, we, you know, <laughs> we sit and wait over and over again and nothing happens ever. It's maddening. It's completely maddening. So that's it. That's the, the Greer update. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!